So, you know how a stoic philosopher walks into a bar, right? The bartender says, hey, you look upset, what's the matter? The stoic replies, nothing, I'm just practicing indifference. Cue the laughter, folks. But let's unpack this joke a bit. You see, stoicism, this unflappable philosophy we're about to dive into, is all about that. Indifference. But not the kind of indifference where you shrug off your responsibilities or let your mom's calls go to voicemail. No, we're talking about a different breed of indifference here. Stoicism is about accepting life as it is, not as we wish it to be. It's about understanding that we can't control everything that happens to us, but we sure as heck can control how we react to it. It's about finding peace in the chaos, tranquility in the storm. Sounds like a tall order, huh? Imagine this. You're stuck in traffic, late for work, and the guy in front of you is driving like he's on a Sunday stroll. Now, the typical reaction would be to honk, curse, maybe even fantasize about ramming into his car. But a stoic? Oh, a stoic would just sit back, turn up the radio, and enjoy the ride. Because why let something you can't control ruin your day? And it's not about suppressing emotions, mind you. It's about not letting them control you. You can feel anger, sadness, frustration, but you don't let them dictate your actions. You acknowledge them and then you let them go, like a leaf on a river. In a world where everything seems to be moving at a breakneck speed, where we're constantly bombarded by things that demand our attention and reactions, Stoicism offers a kind of mental armor. It's a way to stay grounded, to keep your cool when everyone else is losing theirs. So next time your coffee spills, remember the stoic in the bar. No point crying over spilled milk, or coffee in this case. Ever had a day when your boss was on your case, your car broke down, and your dog decided your shoe was a chew toy? Welcome to a day in the life of a stoic. Now I know what you're thinking. Stoicism? Ain't that about being as emotionless as a rock in the park? Well, you'd be wrong, my friend. Stoicism ain't about suppressing emotions. It's about understanding and managing them. Like, you know, when you're stuck in traffic and some joker cuts you off, you could blow a fuse or you could take a deep breath and remember, hey, I'm not in control of this clown's driving and let's paint a picture. Imagine you're at your favorite coffee joint waiting for your morning cup of joe. Suddenly, they're out of your favorite brew. Now you could go all King Kong, pounding your chest and hollering about the injustice of it all. Or you could take it in stride, chuckling to yourself, well, ain't life a hoot? That's stoicism for you. Understanding what's in your control and what ain't. Think about it. You can't control the weather, the traffic, or if your dog develops a sudden fondness for your new kicks. But you can control how you react to it. You can choose to be as chill as a cucumber in a cooler or as hot as a jalapeno in a desert. It's your call. Stoicism is like being the calm in the eye of the storm. Life's going to throw curveballs at you. It's going to be a roller coaster ride with ups, downs, twists, and turns. But as a Stoic, you're in the driver's seat. You're the one holding the reins, navigating through the chaos with a cool head and a warm heart. So, the next time your boss is breathing down your neck, your car decides to take a day off, or your dog develops a taste for leather, remember, it's all a matter of perspective. Life's a wild ride, my friend, and Stoicism, it's your roadmap to navigating it with wisdom, humor, and a whole lot of grace. I'd ever been on a date and thought this would be so much easier if I were a Stoic. Well, you're not wrong. When it comes to relationships, Stoicism is like that secret sauce that can turn any awkward situation into a bearable, if not humorous, experience. Let's paint a picture here. Imagine you're out on a date and your partner, bless their heart, decides to share their life story, which is as riveting as watching paint dry. Now, you could sit there, nodding like a bobblehead, or you could be a stoic, accept the situation as it is, and find solace in the fact that you're not the one doing the talking. Or how about when your better half decides to critique your fashion sense, or rather, the lack of it? Now, you could get defensive and start a World War III over a pair of socks. Or you could take a stoic approach, accept their perspective, understand they're not trying to undermine you, but rather save you from a fashion faux pas. That's stoicism, my friends. But here's the kicker. Stoicism isn't about being as emotionless as a rock. It's about understanding and accepting that everyone, including our partners, has their own set of quirks and idiosyncrasies. It's about not trying to control them or change them, 
but rather loving them as they are. Remember that time when your date decided to order a pineapple pizza and you almost choked on your drink? Yeah, that's when stoicism comes into play. You might not agree with their pizza topping choices, but hey, to each their own. Instead of turning it into a pineapple on pizza debate, you laugh it off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the essence of stoicism in relationships. It's about seeing the humor in the differences and appreciating the uniqueness of others. So remember, folks, next time your date orders pineapple on the pizza, don't sweat it. That's stoicism. So you're probably thinking, this stoicism thing sounds cool, but how do I do it? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because here comes the crash course. Let's start with the first key principle of stoicism. Reflection. Imagine you're a detective in a gritty noir film, always analyzing, always questioning. Only your case isn't about a missing dame or a stolen diamond. No, you're investigating the greatest mystery of all, your own mind. You're peering into the shadowy alleyways of your thoughts, shining a light on your motivations, your reactions, your desires. You're on the trail of self-understanding. See? Okay, moving on to principle number two, acceptance. Now, this ain't about rolling over and playing dead. No, sir. This is about recognizing that life's going to throw you curveballs, whether you're ready or not. You might be having a nice day sipping your latte when, bam, a pigeon drops a gift on your new shoes. Do you lose your cool? Nah, you're a stoic. You accept it with a shrug and a laugh. After all, that's what shoe polish is for, right? And finally, we've got the third principle. Understanding. This is where you take your detective skills and your acceptance powers to the next level. You don't just react to the world, you understand it. You see that pigeon's gift for what it really is. A reminder that life is messy, unpredictable, and often downright hilarious. You get that your anger, your joy, your sorrow, they're all just part of the ride. And instead of trying to control the roller coaster, you enjoy the ups, the downs, and the loop the loops. And there you have it, stoicism in a nutshell. Just remember, it's not about being emotionless, it's about being unshakable. Okay, so we've had our laughs, we've had our deep thoughts. Now let's wrap this up with a smile. So, we've been talking about stoicism, right? This ain't no stuffy philosophy class, though. Think of it more like a late-night comedy show with a side of wisdom fries. So, let's do a quick recap on the stoic highlights, shall we? First up, we got the unflappable philosophy. This ain't about being some emotionless robot. Nah, it's more like being that cool cat in the jazz club, just grooving with whatever tune life decides to play. You remember that, right? It's all about rolling with the punches, not letting life's ups and downs knock you off your stride. Then we had our daily dose of stoicism. This ain't a once a week Sunday school lesson. It's a day in day out grind. It's like brushing your teeth or combing your hair. You gotta do it every day if you wanna see the benefits. You've got to practice being cool, calm, and collected, even when the world's going bananas around you. We also talked about stoicism in relationships. This ain't just about you and your inner peace. It's also about how you interact with others. It's like being the DJ at a party. You've got to keep the vibes good for everyone, not just yourself. Remember, we're all in this together. And let's not forget, we broke down stoicism in a nutshell. It's like the ultimate cheat sheet to staying chill. Remember the four virtues? Wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. That's your four-leaf clover right there. Your lucky charm to navigating this crazy world. So folks, next time life throws you a curveball, just remember, be like the stoic in the bar. Keep your cool, keep your smile, and keep on keeping on.